Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anissa. Basically, today's video I'm going to talk about how to keep your ladies part clean. So, oh, what the hell was that? So this video is more like for girls who just started the period or for just for any woman out there who wants to learn or to know how to keep the ladies part clean and fresh and yeah, just clean and fresh really. Yeah, just clean and fresh. If you can't handle this kind of topic and you can't handle what I'm about to talk about, then I don't think this video is for you. But if you do want to know these kind of stuff, then and it might be actually beneficial for you, I think you should stay and not leave and not exit from this video. And I think you should continue watching this video because I do think this video could be beneficial for you girls out there who wants to know how to keep it all you know what I mean like all cute all like clean and tight you know but yeah I just want to say as well what works for me might not work for you because I think everyone is different but these are kind of the things that I've been using for like for the longest really I've been using this like my whole life and yeah so this is this has been working well for me and yeah I just think what I'm about to show you guys today and the tips that I'm about to give you guys is actually really, really, really good tip. This tips I'm about to give you guys, trust me, this is the tips that you guys need to know. Nothing else, nothing more, and nothing less. Because this one I'm about to give you guys has been helping me for over the like for over the years, you know. Because I never really had anyone telling me to how to keep my ting ting clean. But I've done my own research and I found out what works for me. So now I just want to help the girls who doesn't know what to use and what they need, okay? And as I said, if you're too young for this kind of topic, then I don't know why you're still here, you're still watching this video. You want to just exit this out, okay? Because this is just for people who can handle this kind of topic. Okay, but anyways, I don't want to keep you guys too long, so let's just get straight into this video. The first most important thing to know is you need to drink your water like you need to drink your water is a must <sighs> any kind of bowl really actually i need to drink my water now hold on <laughs> girl was thirsty okay yeah two so liters water a day that's basically what you need you need to drink your water it's not just good for the skin it's not just good when you're thirsty it's even good for mm, I don't know this is what I think this is basically what I think if you guys think that I'm basically wrong then just comment down below and just let me know but this is what I think this is my opinion I think when you don't drink your water and when you're about to go to the toilet you smell more strong I feel like when you drink your water, everything is more clear. When you go into the toilet and you basically, you know, urinate or you you wee whatever, the color needs to be all clear. If the color is too yellow or too green, then clearly you're dehydrated. And if you're dehydrated, that means your latest part is going to smell. Yes, I said it. If down there smells. Then you know you need your water so yeah so how do you know if your latest part has a strong smell go to the toilet right now go trying to we urinate whatever you call it and just see if it's too yellow it's too green and it has strong 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 by the way when i say strong i mean a strong 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 smell that means you're dehydrated and if you're dehydrated it's gonna basically cause a lot of bad smell down there that's basically what i think okay you might even have like urine infection i don't know but yeah so it is very 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 important that you girls drink your water because that really helps a lot before you even think about washing everything out then you need to drink your water because it does help that's what i think so tip number two you girls need to make sure and you need to know what kind of food you eat because the food that you eat does play a big part in your life and in your latest part as well whatever you eat it kind of does play a part of how you smell and how you look so yes yeah, so i do think like i don't know people say like if you eat pineapples and fruits and stuff 
it does kind of help with the smell and yeah it will just make everything like when you eat good and you eat healthy then your ladies part won't really have any issues so just like me personally i do kind of stay away from eating too much fish and stuff especially like tuna i feel like if you eat too much tuna and fish that's what i think that's what i believe okay um i do think it's gonna start smelling like tuna down there and we don't want that kind of issue because that's the issue that we're trying to stay away from so okay. the third tip that i would give you girls is when you having a shower or bath like me personally i like to take shower more because i feel like when you're having a shower you're basically washing yourself more because i feel like if you take a bath you're not really washing yourself are you you're just sitting like on your dirt so me when i go to the toilet i like to jump in the shower and just have a really 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 good rinse and proper shower so what you need to do is you just need to wash it with warm water for like a good two three minutes give a good 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 rinse and yeah make sure you wash everything properly like when i say proper make sure everything is washed proper because i feel like when you're in your period you smell more the smell is more strong so you need to make sure that you're basically showering like every single day and you're giving it a proper rinse down there because if you don't then trust me you are going to smell and people will know that you're on your period and you don't want that issue trust me you don't so me personally when i'm in the shower i'll give it a really good rinse and yeah and then sometimes what i like to do is not all the time but you don't have to but this is what i like to do i like to use my family fresh intimate skincare wash this little one and you could basically use any you don't have to use exactly this brand but this is the one that I'm using at the moment. I like to use it like maybe once or twice a week. And especially when I'm on my period. Because you don't want a strong smell. But yeah, so I feel like this is kind of good. If you want to give, you know, your little kitty extra, extra rinse. It doesn't have any soap, nothing. But I like to use like maybe once or twice a week. And not too much. I do believe like your vagina has that extra like protection where it kind of does clean itself but if you need that extra extra wash then i would recommend to use this feminine fresh wash if you need that extra little fresh thing these wipes i think is actually so so important girls i think every girl should have these wipes in their bag honestly like i'm not going to lie like you need this in your life if you don't have these wipes then i don't know what you're doing like I don't know what you're doing with your life. Like, I'm not even being rude, but I honestly don't. Like, I like to use this especially, like, if you just use the toilet, even if you did, like, it doesn't matter if you did, like, number one or number two. You could, you could use it for both. And, yeah, so it, every, it just keeps it extra, extra, extra clean and fresh, especially if you basically meeting your man, whatever you're doing. Well, I'm not to judge, but, you know, if you're trying to do a little business and you don't want you down there to smell a bit, off after using the toilet then i do recommend to use this why i got this for like a pound i think one pound or one pound fifty not more than two pounds but this one is a must you need this in your bag to keep everything down there fresh and clean like you can't just go to the toilet and just use tissue after getting out the toilet so it don't make sense you need this in your bag especially when you're in the public and you're out and you're not at home and to be honest, me, because I'm Muslim, so, like, me, personally, like, when I'm using, like, the toilet, or I do number one or number two, it does not matter. I always, always use warm water. Once I finish washing myself off, then I will use the tissue. And once I finish using the tissue, then I will grab my wipes. That's basically my routine. I do these things every single time I use the toilet. Like, I know people, like, they will go to the toilet, they would do number one or number two, and they only use tissue. And I'm just like, girl are you serious like i'm not judging but it's like you need to use either wipes or warm water that's that because if you don't then down there it is not fresh i'm just giving you these tips to, to keep your ladies part very clean and fresh at the same time. the next thing that i'm going to talk about what type of underwear are you using like me personally like i don't like to wear like thongs and things like that i prefer to wear like, french underwear it's like you know them silky ones like you're wearing an underwear but then at the same time you have this like this little tiny little holes i would prefer to wear like an underwear that's like really like soft and silky and and helps you give your ladies part like a very good fresh air because you don't want to be you don't want to 
make everything like soaked and tight where you feel like your lady's part is probably like suffocating you don't want that kind of issue so just wear like a very soft and gentle current underwear to keep your lady's part very you know fresh and yeah so just let your lady's part sometimes breathe and the other thing that i like to do is when i'm at home just chilling and i'm not really doing anything and i'm not going out i like to just wear my pjs like maybe like a dress but with like no underwear when you're at home then i feel like that's opportunity for your vagina and or your kitty to have that fresh air that you need so me personally when i'm sleeping i prefer not to sleep with any on underwear but it's very important that you air out your ladies part because it's like it's like when you're waking up in the morning the first thing you do is right clean your bed and open the window right that's the first thing you're gonna do that's the same thing with you ladies part so you need to sometimes air out like walk around you don't always need to like lock everything up girl so make sure that you're giving your ladies part like a good fresh air and just be gentle on it because you know vagina can be very sensitive sometimes so yeah just be gentle okay but me i think it's very very important that sometimes once in a while that you give your ladies part a very good fresh air so if that means that you need to walk around with no underwear or if you if you prefer sleeping with underwear, then you should walk around with no underwear while you're at home. If you prefer to not sleep with underwear, for me, when I'm at home and I sleep, I prefer not to wear any underwear just to keep everything very fresh and clean. So that's a one very good tip that I could give Next you. Next one is, it's not all about keeping it clean. So, but me, I I don't really like getting waxed, but then if if i do decide to get wax i prefer to get sugar wax because i feel like sugar wax is more gentle on your ladies part and it doesn't give you these little tiny bumps and spots that you know you usually get so i prefer that or if i'm really 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 in the brush then i would just sometimes like shave if i have to it's kind of important that you know you kind of make sure that you don't have too much hair down there because sometimes if you have too much hair it can cause it can cause it like a bad smell sometimes you can even sweat a lot down there if you have like a lot of hair so just make sure that you keep everything like clean and smooth and just like less hair because the less hair you have the less it will smell because think about it, if you're going to the gym and down there it's very like bushy then what do you expect so by the time you get home it's all sweaty and and smelly do you know what i mean like let's just keep it real so just make sure that you keep it like very clean and just make sure that you know you wax once in a while like i usually like to get a wax like maybe every four to five weeks but if i don't have time to do that i prefer to use like a hair removal cream because i feel like it's easier and it removes more hair and then after i'm done doing that then i kind of like to use like shea butter and some honey and put in the microwave for like a minute and then put it like on top of my skin just to make sure that i don't really get any bumps or it doesn't get too irritated or it feels too itchy so these are things that i like to do guys and these are things that have worked for me and um yeah so i feel like it's a bit some girls are a bit shy to talk about these things but i just kind of thought like why not to talk about it like i don't really see the point of it like i feel like we're all grown over here do you know what i mean so i think if you guys found this video very helpful and you guys think this these things i've showed you guys today even the two little products then yeah i will kind of be happy if it helped anyone out there but yeah this kind of i don't know this topic and speaking about this was a bit uncomfortable for me today but i just kind of thought why not do it because when i was in high school i didn't really have you know someone to guide me or help me with these kind of things so sometimes as a girl you do kind of need tips on on these kind of things you know because some people want to talk about it but yeah but anyways i don't want to keep you guys too long if you guys enjoyed this video just don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will be back with more videos bye